This video discusses a concept called completing the square. Now then, if we have x plus 3 all squared, we know that equals x plus 3 times by x plus 3. Which if we expand using foil or smiley face or whatever method, that x squared plus 3 plus 3 is 6, x plus 3 times 3 is 9. And basically, the number here doubles to give the coefficient of x. And if you look at the second one, that's the same as x minus 4 times x minus 4. Again, we get x squared minus 4 take away 4 is minus 8x. Again, we've doubled minus 4 to get to minus 8, plus, and minus 4 times minus 4 is plus 60. Now then, completing the square is almost going in reverse. And we want to write this as something squared, if possible. Now, the trick here is to go in reverse. Now, the 3 doubled to give a 6, and the minus 4 doubled to give the minus 8. So in reverse, if there's a 6 here, there must be a 3 in a bracket. If there's a minus 8, there must be a minus 8. 4 in a bracket. Now we've got a 10 here. So if we have that, we get x plus 5 all squared. Because if this expands, we get x squared plus 10x plus 25. So the x squared term matches off, the 10x matches off, but we've got a 25, not 30. So we have to add on an extra 5 to make these two expressions the same. So I must plus a 5 on at the end to make them equal. And this process here, again, is called completing the square. So on the fourth one, in a similar way, I want to write it as something squared where possible. So I halve the minus 12 and get x minus 6, again, all squared. But this square is to give x squared minus 12x plus 36. So again, the x squared terms cancel off, the minus 12x terms do, but the 36 does not equal the 1. But to get 36 down to 1, I just have to take away 35. So again, I've completed the square for both these expressions.